Hi students I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy during this lockdown period As you all know we are trying to compensate for the regular classes that we have lost through these video sessions In the previous class we had discussed the concept of canonical ensemble formulation and partition function and had used this formulation to study the complete thermodynamics of a classical ideal gas today let us consider another illustration of the canonical ensemble formulation for a system of harmonic oscillators here we consider two cases when the oscillators are treated classically and second one when the oscillators are treated quantum mechanically so let's begin with the classical treatment of harmonic oscillators where we consider a system of n independent harmonic oscillators according to the canonical ensemble formulation we have to calculate the partition function of the system of n independent harmonic oscillators and from the calculated partition function we determine the complete thermodynamics of the system the calculation of the partition function of the system is done by finding out the partition function of a single oscillator that is q n v t that is the partition function of the n oscillator system is equal to q1 vt the whole raised to n where q1 vt is the partition function of the single oscillator or a one dimensional harmonic oscillator now to calculate the partition function of the single oscillator we use the equation q1 vt is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to minus beta capital h d raised to 3n q d raised to 3n p by h raised to 3n n factorial here for a single oscillator capital n is equal to 1 so that our equation reduces to q1 vt is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to minus beta capital h dq dp by small h where capital h is the hamiltonian of the system for a single particle or for a single harmonic oscillator the hamiltonian is given as capital h q p is equal to half m omega square q square plus p square by 2m therefore the single oscillator partition function q1 vt is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to minus beta half m omega square q square plus p square by 2m dp dq by h now to change the limits from minus infinity to plus infinity to integral 0 to infinity we multiply by 2 for each of these integrals so that q1 vt is equal to 2 into integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta m omega square q square by 2 into dq into 2 into integral 0, 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta p square by 2m dp the whole divided by small h that is equal to 4 by h integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta m omega square q square dq into integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta p square by 2m into dp so we have written the partition function for a single harmonic oscillator as the product of two integrals one integrated with respect to q and the other one integrated with respect to p this is given as equation 1 now these two integrals are comparable to a standard integral of the form integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus ax square x raised to 2y minus 1 dx whose solution is given as 1 by 2 a raised to y gamma y comparing the first integral in equation 1 with the standard integral we get small a is equal to we are comparing the first integral with the standard integral so that we get small a is equal to beta m omega square by 2 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 which implies y is equal to half so that 
integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta m omega square q square by 2 dq is equal to 1 by 2 into a that is here a is equal to beta m omega square by 2 the whole raised to half gamma of half y is half gamma half is equal to root pi so that my integral becomes equal to root pi by 2 beta m omega square by 2 the whole raised to half now we consider the second integral in this equation that is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta p square by 2m dp comparing this part of that is the second integral with the standard integral we get a is equal to beta by 2m to y minus 1 is equal to 0 so that y is equal to half so that integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta p square by 2m dp is equal to 1 by 2 into beta by 2m the whole raised to half gamma raised to half that is equal to 1 by 2 beta by 2m the whole raised to half into gamma of half is root pi and now we can combine these two integrals and write the final equation for the partition function of a single harmonic oscillator that is q1 vt is equal to 4 by h root pi by 2 beta m omega square by 2 the whole raised to half into root pi by beta by 2 m the whole raised to half into 2. So that on simplification we get q1 vt is equal to 1 by beta h cross omega which is equal to beta h cross omega the whole raised to minus 1 where beta is equal to 1 by kt. So that the partition function for the system of n independent harmonic oscillators that is q n v t is equal to beta h cross omega the whole raised to minus n. Now in the classical treatment we have got q 1 v t that is the partition function of the single harmonic oscillator to be equal to 1 by beta h cross omega where beta is equal to kt. So, uh, we can write the rewrite the equation as kt by h cross omega. Now, what is the meaning of kt by h cross omega? That is, kt is divided by h cross omega which is the energy of the harmonic oscillator ener energy spacing. h cross omega re represents harmonic oscillator energy spacing. That means we are doing some kind of counting there. And Q n V t is equal to Q1 V t the whole raised to n or beta h cross omega the whole raised to minus n. That is we have assumed the oscillators to be distinguishable and countable. And here the oscillations are not or the oscillators are not particles or quasi particles but energy level spacings available for the system. Once the partition function has been determined we can find out all the other thermodynamic quantities related to the system or we can find out the complete thermodynamics of the system. So next we determine the Helmholtz free function A, chemical potential mu, pressure P, entropy S, internal energy U etc. of the system of harmonic oscillators. So firstly we calculate the Helmholtz free energy capital A. A is equal to minus kT log of the partition function that is equal to minus kT ln beta h cross omega the whole raised to minus n or Helmholtz free energy A is equal to n kT ln beta h cross omega. The chemical potential mu is calculated as mu equal to dou A by dou N. On differentiating with respect to N we get mu equal to kT log B beta h cross omega. Pressure P is found as minus dou A by dou V since A has no dependence on V pressure is equal to 0. Capital S that is the entropy of the system is equal to minus dou A by dou T which is equal to minus dou by dou T of N K T log H cross omega by K T. 
applying product rule i get the solution for the entropy of the system as nk into log h cross omega by kt plus 1 next we calculate the internal energy of the system u u which is calculated from the equation a is equal to u minus ts or u is equal to a plus ts substituting for a as nkt log h cross omega by kt and substituting for s uh, from what we have calculated previously we get u is equal to nkt and the specific heat at constant volume cv is equal to dou u by dou t which is equal to capital n into k here the mean energy or average energy per harmonic oscillator is equal to nkt by nkt by capital a by capital n the average energy per oscillator is equal to nkt by capital n or it is equal to kt which is quite in agreement with the equipartition theorem half kt for the kinetic energy of the system and half kt corresponding to the potential energy of the system so that the mean energy per harmonic oscillator is equal to kt which is in agreement with the equipartition theorem this much constitutes the classical treatment of the harmonic oscillators in our next session we will go to the quantum mechanical treatment for the harmonic oscillator system thank you